So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe, and this is Blue or Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines. All right, so all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as Divine Masculine, hunty, you can go ahead and get out. Because this reading right now is not for you. Okay, let us go ahead and jump right into the reading, you all. Let us see what the messages are this spirit has here for Jewel on today. All right, let us go ahead and get into it. This ain't nothing to it but to do it. All right, let us see. Thank you, spirit. Let's start off with these. Get some messages. We have true love and power. So the power of true love. Hmm. There's a surprise here for you. Okay. Dreams. Dreams do become real. All right. Share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality. 1111, make a wish. Okay. 1111 is an important number for twin flames. It symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts. So, filling each other at the heart level, at the soul level. All right. You begin to feel your heart beat faster when you are close. So when you think of this person, your heart beats faster. When you're near them, you may notice that, okay? You have really intense feelings for one another, and this has become really evident to you and this person, all right? So it says, take time out to explore the deep emotions you are experiencing. Spirit doesn't want for you to shy away from them or fight them off, okay? Yeah, you feel connected at the heart level. That's just what it is, all right? There's no need in you trying to fight it. Okay, let us see. Let's get deeper here. Yeah, again, like I said, make a wish. This person is wishing for you or you are wishing for them. Okay, crickets, but there is no conversational communication. This person could be wishing for you to reach out and talk to them. Some of you could be in this energy of cleansing your space and they may be worried that they are a part of what you're cleansing out. Okay, something along those lines. Let us see. What? Okay, we have access granted. Okay, so this person has access to you in some way or another. This person could have gone through a separation recently or you did. Okay, from someone. Let us see. Hmm. We have racing. Person feel like you're avoiding them? Yeah, like I said, you're cleansing out your space, your energy. They're afraid that they're a part of that. Because of something that they went through, you don't want to deal with it. It's like... They're going through some karmic lessons and you're just allowing them to learn those lessons on their own. TikTok, all right? All things happen according to divine will and divine timing. In the meanwhile, because of this, this person is made to feel alone, okay? Or like I said, this is you. Put yourself on whichever side you go, okay? We have threatened, embarrassed because of what's going on and how they may look to you, okay? Something is coming in the very near future, let us look deeper here. Let's get into the tarot. What's going on? We have justice and we have judgment. So in the very near future, this person is going to speak their truth in a way where they have not before. Now, the reason they did it, like I said, they could have been embarrassed about what was going on. Okay? You could be getting signs everywhere that this person is going through something really rough and that they are reaching out for you or pulling on your energy. Okay? Okay? Let us see. The Queen of Cups. You're very loving. You're very nurturing. This person is yearning for that energy right now. They want to feel understood. They want to feel loved. They want to feel welcomed. You make them feel that way. Seven of Cups is like... An illusion or think of like an escape right like a paradise type of energy that's what seven of cups makes me feel like in this deck you know taking the time away from anything and everything and you forget that real world actually exists you know it's out there moving about right but this person they want to be up under you queen of wands you're they're so drawn to you so attracted to you and at one point in time, they could have felt like this attraction was an issue. 
because of how powerful this attraction is or how strongly they feel pulled towards this connection. Yeah, Ace of Cups reverse. It could have felt like it was bad, okay, or something like that. But let's see, really interesting. Or this is you. Put yourself whichever side you go. We have the two of swords. Okay, yeah, feelings of being impartial. Like, mm, I don't know about this person. Like I said, you, you're removing negativity from your life. They could be a part of that. That's how they feel right now. They're like, wait a minute. So you look at me as something or someone that's negative? Okay, or this is you. Flip it how you need to. Okay, we have the nine of pentacles. So this is single, independent. Someone is no longer wrapped up in whatever situation they had going on okay yeah so that was a very unrequited situation the person could have been there because of certain things but not because they were loving not because they were anything that this person feels like they need they fantasize about this love that you offer they have deep feelings for you and now they're wondering who you're giving that love and affection to the hermit if you're not giving that love and affection to me then who are you giving that love and affection to who are you spending that time with All right what are you doing? Yeah, this is how the Emperor is feeling. Three of Cups. Who are you with? What are you doing? Right? Three of Wands. In the very near future, they're going to come towards you and say this because they're desiring you. They're like, listen, we're not going to discard this and act like it's not what it is. Like I said, some sort of escape. It's a Seven of Cups energy. Escapade. That's how you feel. You feel like an all-the-time hideaway. Like, the world is outside, and the world is stressful, the world is chaotic, the world is what the world is, beloved, but you are their escape away from the world, as are they that for you, right? They are that for you. So the five of swords, it's like, as are they for you, I don't know why I say as are they that for you, child, that's how they chose to channel it, but that's what they are for you, all right? So we have the judgment card, the ace of wands. Some of you feel like this person is non-committal with the Knight of Cups in reverse, which is why you choose to keep your distance and your space from them. Or they just haven't given you something. They haven't spoken their truth about why they haven't given you something. They offer you a lot of passion. They view you as this, but they haven't offered this to you. So because of this, this prevents you guys from getting over some sort of hurdle or some sort of energy that has kept their relationship at a standstill and has prevented it from being functional although the two of you feel like you have these deep intense feelings it still needs to be something that functions properly as of right now you're not feeling like it does okay or that's them put yourself whichever side no i think more so that's you but okay let's see <laughs> you have the queen of cups and the seven of cups okay yeah, squad. I feel like this person feels you are a part of their soul family or you are, like, home for them. You guys are on the same frequency. They're sending you a lot of telepathic communication right now. You know, feeling like you're blocking them out. So I just saw the deficit card. Okay, vacate. Again, something about feeling like they just want to come towards you or they just want to be with you and be in this, like, escape away from everything type of energy. But because of other situations they had going on, they were not able to tend to this in an open way. Now they want to, okay? Because, again, with the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles, something didn't work out, okay? So, yeah, and Power Couple. Maybe it didn't work out because they want something else. A snack, okay? Irresistible, wanting more. Yeah, maybe it didn't work out because they want something else. Okay, so we have the Hermit. Cupcaking, yeah. If you're not talking to me, then who are you talking to? That could be a very closed-minded way of thinking about it. Maybe you just aren't feeling something that they did. Doesn't mean that you're talking to anybody else. All right, we have the Three of Cups, the Emperor, and the Three of Wands. Hot block. Yeah, this person feels like if you're not talking to me, it must be because of that. It's not. That's a terrible sense of judgment. <laughs> Has nothing to do with it, right? Um, and I feel like this is just them showing their jealousy in some way. And some of them may even be doing things to try to make you jealous. Mm, some of you may not even be noticing. <laughs> some of you might see it and you, you look and you're like, oh, okay, mm, and go about your business. Others of you are really not even noticing. All right, you have on lock because as far as you're concerned, this is what it is. You're loyal to them. And so you feel like they're going to see that. It's going to speak for itself. And... 
yeah with judgment here as the underlining this false sense of judgment that they have right now i feel like it's temporary with the ace of wands here they're going to come to their senses to go like okay my feminine my empress is passionate like this about me they're not passionate like this about everybody you know it's not an everybody type of thing homie skillet okay this is a very much so for you type of thing all right and until they understand that i feel like that's why you're in the by felicia type of energy you're like listen i'm not dealing with it you acting mass sus <laughs> Okay, I don't even use that word. That's why I giggle. You act a mass sus. Why are you acting like that? <laughs> like, how do you even use that word? You have to talk tough to use it, right? Like, this weird. Like, oh, he acting sus. That sounds weird. <laughs> that sounds sus. Like, how do you use that word in a soft way? Like, how about just not use it, right? But somebody's acting suspicious, right? Somebody's being very suspicious here. Okay, the way they're going about doing things. Yeah, your twin flame. Okay, so really interesting how that works out, how it played out there. Hmm. All right, let us see. Messages of love. Remember, too, put yourself on whichever side you go because it could be either way, right? Let us see. We have denial, regret. Someone is in regret because they denied the connection at one point in time. And now they're like, oh, yeah, the chemistry is unmatched. Why would I have... That was so reckless of me to have been unavailable. Please, please accept my apology. You know, it's something like that. And you're giggling about it because you're devoted. You're just needing to see the things that you need to see. Okay. Yeah, we have call in your soulmate and let your friends help you. I love this card because on this card, it's her being supported by someone in the physical and in spirit. An angel's here. Call in your soulmate, the perfect person for you. Okay. Release your ex. This is you. This is them letting go of karmic attachments, religious factors. The way that you believe, it brings you closer together. You share some sort of core belief when it comes to the way that you raise children or the way that you feel about love. All right. So this makes the both of you want to make an effort here in the relationship. Okay. So very, very beautiful energy. I hope that this helps you. If this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair grease.